What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we've got a bulletproof pillow from RTS Tactical. Now there's a lot of bulletproof stuff out there these days, some sillier than others, and we've made videos on a lot of this stuff. And personally, I love it. If you're gonna have accessories, why not have them bulletproof? But I gotta say, this pillow is one that I actually do see a lot of practical uses for. Now I know Mr. Guns and Gear did a video on this thing recently. I haven't watched it because I wanted to see for myself how effective it actually is. But as soon as I saw that thumbnail, I thought, man, I have to get one. So like I said, it's from RTS Tactical and it's essentially a freaking bullet stopper that you can sleep on every night. And if you hear someone breaking into your house, you pick up your pillow. As you can see, it's got straps so you can hold it just like a riot shield basically. And while you're clearing the house, you have portable body armor. And by the way, it is very comfortable. I've slept on it for the last three nights and you can't even tell that there's body armor in it. It's just a little heavier than a regular pillow. But other than that, it's very comfortable. And to be honest, I'm kind of sad that I have to destroy it because I would really like to keep this thing. So like I said, the best purpose I can see for this thing is if you hear a bump in the night, you can pick it up just like I'm holding it right now and take it with you to investigate. And you're not gonna believe this, but last night I heard someone trying to break into my house. So I got up with my bulletproof pillow in my undies and went to investigate and my security cameras captured some of the footage. Turns out no one was there, luckily for them, because you saw the skill level that I was operating on and I'll just leave it at that. But now that your eyes are traumatized, this is a level 3A plus bulletproof pillow, which means it's rated to stop most handguns up to a 44 Magnum. And I believe most gun crimes and home invasions are committed with those common handgun calibers. So let's start lighting this thing up and see how bulletproof the pillow actually is. All right, we have come down to the other shooting range because the sun was right in the camera lens up top. So here is our setup. We have the bulletproof pillow sitting on the table with a couple sandbags behind it, which I feel like should accurately replicate a real life scenario. So. Let's light this thing up. So y'all know the drill, we've done this a thousand times before. We're gonna start small and work our way up from there. And first up, we have the 22 long rifle, Henry Golden Boy. I hope that didn't go through, because it would be a short video. And the 22 went in right there, go around to the back. And it did not come out the other side. So as we get into the bigger calibers, I might unzip this thing and actually look at the body armor, but as expected, it easily stopped the 22. All right, we're skipping the 380 and going straight to the nine millimeter. This is a big step up, but if it stops the nine millimeter, it would obviously stop the 380. And we're shooting this one out of the Canik TP9 SFX. Love this gun. And there is the entrance hole from our nine millimeter. Go ahead and flip it over and nothing came out the other side. We don't even have a bulge on the back side of this pillow yet. Based off statistics, if a criminal were to break into your house, there's a very high likelihood they would be using a caliber like the nine millimeter. And as you can see, it easily stopped it. Next up, we have the 40 Smith & Wesson. This is one that I always skip over when I make these videos and all the 40 caliber guys get mad at me. So we'll go ahead and try it. Shooting this one out of the Glock 23. It's the first one to knock the pillow off the table. <laughs> Forty Smith & Wesson entrance hole. And once again, no exit hole. Let's go ahead and try the 45 ACP. This is our first hollow point. I believe it is a Winchester self-defense round and we're shooting this one out of the Smith & Wesson MMP shield. A little more recoil.
And shout out to my buddy from Turtle Lake Tactical, by the way. He gifted this gun to the channel a couple years ago, and sometimes I forget to mention that, but we use it quite a bit, so I appreciate it. And there is our 45 ACP. You can see the entrance hole is quite a bit bigger than any of the others we've shot. Go ahead and flip it over, and still no exit holes on the back of this pillow. So far, it's working pretty well. Let's get out the big guns. Next up, we have the 10 millimeter. So this is not quite as powerful as the 44 Magnum, but because of the velocity, sometimes they actually penetrate better. And I'm not sure if 3A body armor is rated for the 10 millimeter, but I guess we'll find out. Shooting this one out of the Glock 20. It's a big old thing. <laughs> that packs a punch. And I believe that is the entrance hole from our 10 millimeter right there. Go ahead and flip it over. And once again, nothing came out the other side. And I don't see any deformation on this pillow. I can kind of feel it in there, but it's holding up pretty well. So the thing with traditional body armor that you wear on your chest is those bullet impacts are gonna hurt and probably injure you whether they go through or not. But with something like this, because you're holding it out from your body, it might actually work even better. So we'll shoot one more and then we'll unzip this thing and take a look at the body armor. And we've finally arrived at the 44 Magnum. So I believe this is the biggest caliber that 3A body armor can reliably stop, so. Let's see what happens. We're shooting this one out of the Taurus Ultralight 44 Magnum. As if this caliber doesn't have enough recoil, we're shooting it out of a lightweight gun. So it's gonna kick even harder. <laughs> doesn't feel good, that's for sure. Our 44 Magnum went in right there. And if I flip it over, you can see it did not come out the other side. But I do see a bulge, and this is the first one that I can actually feel the deformation right on the surface. So let's unzip this thing and see what the body armor looks like. So this is actually the first time I've ever opened this thing, and it's kind of cool. So there are Velcro straps that go through the back of the body armor, and that's what keeps it in place. And you can see there's obviously five or six bullet holes on the front, and on the back there is no damage whatsoever. There's one bulge right there in the middle, probably from the 44 Magnum, but other than that, it's in perfect condition. Let's keep shooting it. Let's go ahead and try the 12 gauge shotgun. This is another very common self-defense caliber and we're gonna skip the bird shot and go straight to the double op buck shot. Very powerful, let's see if it can stop it. <laughs> Knock the sandbag off the table. Woo! So I haven't looked at this one yet. That energy transfer was so dramatic. I kind of want to see this at the same time you guys do. So our double lot buckshot went in right there towards the top of the pillow. You can see how small that shot pattern is. And one of those holes is humongous. That might be from the wad. Go ahead and flip it over and it absolutely stopped it. So I believe 3A body armor does usually stop double lot buckshot, but it hit so hard and knocked the sandbag off the table that I wasn't really sure what to expect. So we're running out of guns. We've got a couple more. Let's see if we can get through this thing. All right, this is our first gun that 3A body armor is not rated to stop. And I'm gonna go ahead and predict this will be the first bullet to make it through that pillow. So this is the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum revolver and the bullet we're shooting is the 350 grain Corbon hollow point. This is a very fast bullet and it has a lot of recoil. So it's not very fun to shoot, but let's see if it makes it through that pillow. <laughs> I think it went through, God.
And to be honest, I'm not sure which one is the 500 Magnum. It's one of these two down here. But when we flip it over, you can see that it definitely came all the way through and it even went into our sandbag. That's kind of low to be fair. Let's open this thing up and see. Yep, so it did hit the body armor. I just wanted to make sure. There's our exit hole and there is our entrance hole. So if someone breaks into your house with a 500 Magnum, you've got a pretty bad day, no matter what body armor you're using, but that would be the point where this pillow would no longer save your life. But every gun we shot all the way up to the 500 Magnum, it easily stopped and it's very impressive. And like I said, there's a lot of gimmicky bulletproof stuff out there, which I love. I have most of that stuff. I'm not hating on it, but this pillow is one of the few things that I actually do see practical uses for and I understand why a lot of people would probably want something like this because it's very cool. All right guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Again, I wanna thank RTS Tactical for sending me the bulletproof pillow. I knew as soon as I saw these, I had to get one and try it on the channel for you guys. And this is actually something that I would highly recommend. As far as bulletproof accessories go, this is probably up there near the top of my list and the fact that it's actually useful. I mean, if you think about it, it's a freaking bullet stopping shield that you can carry around your house with you while you investigate that bump in the night and it's impressive it worked it stopped every caliber that it's designed to stop and what more can you ask for so again hope y'all enjoyed it if you did please let me know down in the comments below as always hit that like button for me guys i'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time